All right, it's time for Ask Ellen of the Week. Check this out. Can you see the halo? It's beautiful, it's iridescent, and it's formed around the sun. One viewer wants to know what causes a ring rainbow? What causes these to form in our daytime and nighttime sky? Well, let's talk about it. In order for us to see a halo, we need a certain type of setup in the sky. We need ice crystals to be present, and we need a lot of them. Here's the second catch. Not only do we need a lot of them, they all have to be uniform in size and shape. So you need this hexagonal setup where you have a bunch of ice crystals together, and because they're all similar, they're able to refract and reflect the light in a very special way. Now, when we see refraction and reflection with raindrops, it turns into a beautiful rainbow with defined colors. But when we're talking about ice rainbows with these clouds that are moving through, the colors are much more ethereal and dispersed. So it creates a ring around the sun or the moon, but the rainbow colors aren't as readily apparent. So they're not technically rainbows, they're more like ice bows in the sky. A few other key facts, this only really happens with thin, high-level cloud cover for the most part. And the reason why they form is because there's a certain angle between the sun and the viewer. It's either 22 degrees or 46 degrees. We see a lot of 22-degree halos in the sky. This is a daytime one. This is a nighttime one. Occasionally, when the clouds are thick, the halo is close to the sun or moon. That's like the viewer picture that we just had sent in. Of course, if the clouds are too thick, you don't see a halo at all.